It's only been a week now, and the ginger beer is already crystal clear. So off comes the bubble lock, and then we can put in the sanitised siphon tube. I'll make sure that the end of the tube is very close to the bottom of the demijohn, but not so close that it draws up all the gunk on the base. I'll then draw the beer through the siphon tube, and once it's down near the end, I can close the tap. Now, before I carry on, I'll dip the end of the siphon tube that's been in contact with my mouth into a no-rinse sanitising solution. As well as kegging this ginger beer, I'm going to put some into a bottle. I've got a half pint bottle which is around 250ml, which I've cleaned and sanitised, before priming with quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. I'll then fill the bottle with ginger beer, leaving an airspace or ullage of about 3 centimetres or so. I'll then leave the bottle in a warm place for about a week, before moving to a cooler place or the fridge for a further few weeks to allow the carbon dioxide that's built up to dissolve in the beer. Now because I'm impatient to find out what this ginger beer is going to be like, the rest of it I'm going to transfer to a Cornelius keg so I can carbonate it with my carbon dioxide cylinder. Now the rest of the ginger beer is in the keg, I can place the lid on and seal it by filling with carbon dioxide up to a pressure of about 30 psi. This pressure of CO2 should also serve to carbonate the beer. I can do this by leaving the keg to stand or to speed things along I can turn the keg on its side and shake and roll it a little. Several factors will influence the rate at which the beer carbonates. Temperature has a large effect on the rate of carbonation. The closer to zero degrees C your beer is, the more soluble the gas is in the beer. The higher the pressure of the carbon dioxide, the more carbonated the beer will be. But 20 to 30 psi is perfectly fine for what we need. Turning the keg on its side and rocking or shaking it will increase the surface area available for the absorption of the carbon dioxide, therefore speeding up the carbonation once more. Now the moment of truth. Time to pour off a glass of the beer and give it a taste. Well, it's a lovely deep amber colour and a lovely gingery aroma. It's good. Could do with a bit more ginger though. So I think next time I do this recipe, I'll up the quantity of ginger by at least double. So probably a good five to seven inches of root ginger. Apart from that, it's got a lovely malty flavour. Certainly won't be throwing that down the drain. Let's have a very nice drink.